What's going on everybody? I'm Jacob Cabazuto with Cab Training and today we're going to talk about shiftiness. Are you shifty? How to get shifty? Why you're not shifty? That's all going to be answered in this video. But before we get started, if you guys want to get better as an athlete or as a football player, I would highly suggest subscribing to this channel so you guys can do that because that's all I do on this channel is produce videos that give you the answers to be those things. So let's get better today. So in regards to becoming a shifty football player, I'm gonna tell you guys something that you might not wanna hear. And it's that no single drill is going to make you shifty. It kinda of sucks, it's kind of a terrible answer and I, I hope you guys don't turn off the video right now. But what I really mean is, yes, we can do the zigzag drill all we want or we can do a sprint to shuffle drill all we want. But in order to become shifty, we have to be reactive, controlled, and explosive. So we have to be able to have the strength and the body control to be able to juke opponents and be able to move and accelerate at different angles and different acceleration levels. What I'm gonna show you in this video are a couple drills to help give you guys the capabilities to do those things, but they are not going to make you shifty. And at the end of this video, I will give you guys the answer to how to get shifty. So stay tuned. So drill number one, I even mentioned it earlier in this video. This is actually gonna give you guys the capability to be shifty, the, the body control aspects of being shifty. We got six cones, five yards in between each cone. We're in a rectangle shape. It's a sprint to shuffle drill. All we're gonna be doing, we're gonna start at one of the corners, sprint, squat, shuffle, sprint, squat, shuffle, and sprint. What this is doing, is it's giving us the capability to accelerate from going side to side to front and back relatively well and sharply. What this is not doing is giving us a reaction base to give us the control and be able to react to the environment on the field. Drill number two is the zigzag drill. I also talked about that a little bit in this video. And no, this is not going to make you shifty, but it's gonna help give you the capability of being shifty. It'll give you the body control. It'll give you the strength in each leg, especially the technique of doing it. And then when you get into a reactive situation, then you'll be able to apply it and become shifty. So you guys have seen the zigzag drill before, probably three or four times on this video. I literally do it every week with the athletes I train, every single week to the point where they're sick of it. We're gonna start out right here at this beginning cone. The cones are seven yards apart down the line and four yards wide. So you walk them out seven yards and then put a cone diagonal to it four yards away. That's all we're doing. You can do this a number of ways. I don't care if you go around the cone. I just care if you get to the cone or close to the cone and plant with the correct foot. We're sprinting full speed. Check that, not full speed. We're gonna go about 80% because if you go full speed, you're not gonna be able to cut correctly. So 80% strength here, right here, pushing off our left foot pushing off right foot, pushing off left foot, pushing off right foot, and turn. Remember, when we're changing direction on this drill, we have to turn with our hips, shoulders, and eyes. If we go from this cone, and our hips and shoulders are already, already turned this way, we're already telling people where we're gonna go. So we gotta have hips, shoulders, and eyes this way, push, hips, shoulders, and eyes this way. That way we have that kind of deceptive nature to the way that we move our hips and push off and change direction. I would do this two or three times every session for your speed and agility workouts, and then add a partner, add a coach to help point you in a different direction to do a reactive cut. The third drill that we're gonna go over, and make sure you guys stay tuned for the end of this video so I can give you the real answer on how to get shifty. Again, the third drill is called the figure eight. Again, we've done this on the channel before, we have two cones, two cones, that's all we need. 10 yards apart in a straight line. That's all we're starting out with. We're gonna start out on the left side of this cone, running full speed to this cone. And now we're aiming for the right side here, just like a figure eight. We round it, break down, turn the hips. Now we're aiming for the opposite side of this cone. Break down, roll those hips around. And then you're going to sprint and finish through this cone. Okay, again, if you look at the cones this way, 
we are making a figure eight. Starting on the left side, aiming for the right side of that cone, wrapping around, aiming for this side of this cone, wrapping around, and finishing right through. What this drill helps you the most with to help you become shifty is how to break down, how to turn your hips, how to control your body, how to throw those hands and drop your hips so you guys can stop on a dime, turn, cover someone, break down, make a tackle, pull a flag, whatever, and just help with your overall agility. What this is not gonna help you guys with is being able to react to certain situations because we are bound by just a couple cones being on the ground. You're gonna want a partner, a coach, to help point you in different directions, help you react to different things when it comes to breaking down. Now, I'm gonna give you guys my answer to what exactly is gonna make you shiftier and what is the most helpful thing to make you a shifty football player. So the number one thing that's going to make you a shifty football player is tag. Now I know for you 18 to 24 year olds and those of you who are past the sixth grade, it's gonna be kind of weird to pick up a group of friends to play tag. But if you wanna become shiftier and you guys want to have better lateral quickness, more multi-directional acceleration and just be better movers in general, tag is going to be the best tool to use to make you guys have the capabilities of being shifty and quick and reactive on the football field. For you kids watching this, if you guys are sitting down under the Ramada at your recess and just playing with your phones and you expect yourselves to just get better as a football player by just playing football or just doing speed and agility training once or twice a week, I would highly recommend you guys getting out there and playing tag, getting chased around, having to change directions, having to hide behind poles or something like that. So you guys can have a little bit of a different feel for moving around. My theory is you run faster when you're getting chased by someone and you're gonna juke people out a little bit different on the football field when you're getting chased in a non-football style game. And for you coaches and parents out there, I know you guys want formal drills and you guys want equipment, but just go out there and chase your kid around. They're gonna be so much better off. And have your ha coaches, have your athletes play a weird, uncontrolled game of tag every single practice just to get them in the feel of moving around and being free and being able to experiment with the different movements they work on. And parents, chase your kids around and tag overall is the answer. Think about the older athletes back in the 80s and the 90s who didn't have phones or didn't have video games to play all the time. They were outside at the park with their friends, either playing tag, playing football, playing basketball, getting all these movements in. And so it's super important to continue getting these movements in and diversifying the movements that you can do so you can prevent injury and have more capabilities on the football field. So tag is just another great tool that you can use and probably the most important tool to create the shiftiness that you guys are looking for on the football field. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys have any more questions regarding shiftiness, juking, if you guys want more specific drills regarding juking and shiftiness or more ideas attached to that, please let me know down in the comment section below. I will be happy to answer that either with a comment or a future video. And I greatly appreciate you guys hitting the like button on this video so it reaches more athletes and fit people like you guys. And once again, I'd highly recommend you guys subscribing to Cav Training if you guys wanna become better football players or just better athletes in general. And then as I always like to say at the end of every video, let's get better today.